A counterexample is a powerful way to win an argument. If you provide an example of why a statement is not always true, you have created a counterexample. It is a contradiction to the statement. A counterexample refutes the original claim. Let's try to think of some counterexamples. When you hear a statement you disagree with, think of an actual example to prove the statement is wrong. State your example in a complete sentence. Refute this claim. All birds can fly. Your response should be, all birds cannot fly. For example, cannot fly. Think of the birds that you know of that cannot fly. All birds cannot fly. Emus cannot fly. Penguins cannot fly. Contradict this statement in a complete sentence. All green foods are vegetables. Brainstorm foods that are green. Limes are green. They are not vegetables. Not all green foods are vegetables. Apples are green. They are not vegetables. Provide an example contradicting the statement. In English, there are no numbers spelled with the letter A. Brainstorm how to spell numbers. 1000 is a number. In English, the number 1000 is spelled with an A. Refute this claim. Prove that this statement is false. All American money contains a picture of a U.S. president. Think about each piece of money. Think about who is on the money. Not all American money has a U.S. president. The $10 bill has Alexander Hamilton. The gold $1 coin has Sacagawea. Provide a counterexample for this statement. Do you know the value of X? Since the value of X can be any number, it could be less than zero, which would be the appropriate counterexample. The opposite of a number is not always negative. The opposite of a negative number results in a positive. Try to refute this claim. All numbers have a different opposite number. Do all numbers have a unique opposite? All numbers do not have a unique opposite number. Zero is a number. It is its own opposite. Try to make a counterexample for this. Adding two numbers results in a larger sum. When you add, does the value always increase? Adding does not always create a larger sum. If you add by zero, the sum is not larger than the original terms. Congratulations, now you know counterexample. You can make contradictions. You can prove false by example and refute claims.